Hey everyone, my name is Donald and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to add a sub headline and an icon to your headings with the new version 2 cornerstone. So I want to go ahead and add a headline to this area right here. Let's go ahead and add an element and we're going to search for headline. We're going to click and drag that right into our section. So right now you can see this is right here. Let's go ahead and change the title to be the about us. And so we have that here. Let's go ahead and make this just a little bit bigger by navigating to the text section of the headline. And we're going to go ahead and change this to white. We're going to make this fairly large. And we're going to center this. Now I want to go ahead and add a sub headline. So right here you can see that there's a sub headline set up and we're going to click on. Let's go ahead and add a subheader. Uh, this is a section about us. Let's go ahead and center this. Make this white as well. And increase the size just a little bit. Okay, let's go ahead and take the line height and knock this down just a little bit so that there's a little bit less of a gap. So we do that with the line height. And so we have this section. So let's go ahead and add an icon. We're going to navigate to the graphic section. We're going to turn it on. And we have all of these items that are available for us to change. So let's go ahead and keep this as a icon here. Let's change this to white. And then we're going to go ahead and increase the size of it. All right. And we're going to go ahead and make this on top of the actual, the about us. So in order to do that, we're going to go navigate the setup and we're going to choose column under the text content flex layout. Okay. So that allows us to add an icon right above that section. Now we can choose uh, different ways to make it a little bit smaller. We can uh, take the graphic margin and knock that down just a little bit. Um, and we can also do a negative if we need it to be a little bit smaller. We can go ahead and change the icon to maybe a question mark for the About Us. Have it like that. There's different variations you can use. And you're able to add a background to it, um, work with the border radius and the shadows, things of that nature. There's a lot of different options that you can have for your headlines now that you don't have to use multiple elements or custom CSS in order to achieve. There are so many options that you guys have now. And then we can always, of course, change our headline tag to an H1, just so that Google can recognize that. Um, there are different options like adding a background do that. Um, there are just so many options now that they've released version 2 of Cornerstone that you can actually do so much more with your website content. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below and I will see you guys at the next one.